kubatizibu wa ero Ogenda kubera mbatu kilivu mwadesi Ogenda kubatizibu wa mbatulizibu na Nema nyinga mafe nyafe ikila maria mwadesi Ogenda kubatizibu wa ero mwadesi Ogenda kubatizibu wa mkatholiki chati mwadesi Ogenda kubatizibu wa uinja mmanja kabatu kilivu mwadesi 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 ya bifu nyafe Hey, nebikila maria Who are you? My name is Father Steven Father Steven? Yes But you're dressed like my mother Ah, this is the way how we put on, John You know, Jesus said that you should call no man father upon the earth, hmm. for one is your father which is in heaven. Mm -hmm. So why are you called father when he said not father? And by the way, why are you chasing flies on yourself? Yeah, this is uh, this, uh, this how we do. The crows are making some crows. But where is that in the Bible? This is, and, and what, what do you say you're going to do with her? I'm going to baptize her, you see, your water. I'm going to pour water and then baptize her. Baptize a baby? Yes, John. But, but what do you mean you're going to baptize a baby? What, what, what in the world? Like, was a baby ever baptized in the Bible? I don't think so. Can you give me one example of a baby who was ever baptized in the whole Bible? No, for sure I have. So, so why exactly are you trying to baptize her? Because this is our tradition. The Bible says you make void the word of God through your tradition. Oh. Hmm. Could it be? No, we are not going to baptize our daughter Modest until she believes in Jesus. You used to be a Catholic, right, Angela? Yes, I was born in a Catholic family from the migrant camp, and my dad and myself, so we were all Catholic. I was born in a Catholic family, and I was told by my father that I was also baptized as a child. Um, but uh, growing up in the Catholic church, I learned all their ways, including praying the rosary, going to church and praying to Mary and all these idols. I got so used to the idols around because my grandfather and all the family members used to worship them. And you were baptized? Yes, I was, I was called, but I was baptized. And then I had good parents, good father, good mother. Now, were you like a nominal Catholic or a real Catholic? I mean, did you... Real, real Catholic, because I was a, a leader at the age of 14. And Growing up uh, leading in the Catholic Church as a youth leader, I would be much more zealous than any other youth in my parish. And I was really well known uh, as a very zealous teenager. What did you do as a youth leader? Leading rosary. We used to go around the parish, every house, from house to house, every May and October, leading the rosary. Okay. So you were someone who was really dedicated to this religion, right? Exactly. Now, what made you convert from Catholicism? I realized that it was all false. And then I decided to leave the Catholic Church because... They were teaching about Trinity. I realized that in the Trinity, Mary is not in the Trinity, so how is she connected to God? That's what I thought to myself. And then I'm like, oh, this is false. We are worshiping someone who is not actually God. I used to see all these idols around the Catholic Church, and I'm like, we need a talk, we need a walk. How should I pray to them? So therefore, Mary is not God. And, so and, and as a Catholic, you thought that Mary must be some kind of a divine person because in the Catholic Church, they teach that Mary never sinned, right? That she was immaculately conceived. They teach that Mary was uh, taken up into heaven, just like Jesus, assumed up into heaven, the assumption of Mary. They teach that Mary, um, you know, was a virgin her whole life, even though the Bible clearly tells us that after Mary gave birth to Jesus, she produced many other physical sons and daughters. And so she's, after her giving birth to her firstborn son, ceased to be a virgin. Mm -hmm. And so they have a lot of false teachings about Mary. And, and didn't you pray to Mary like every day? Yeah. <laughs> on the on the rosary. So you probably thought she was like a goddess. And the, that was what they call her, the queen of heaven, right? Mother of God. And so they worship Mary in the Catholic Church. But you thought this isn't, right? Because then there's one God and one mediator between God and men, the man Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. And that was actually when I met you and preached the gospel to you, yes. when you were beginning to doubt everything about the Catholic Church. And, mm -hmm. and then by the time I was still contemplating on the things, that's when John found me and preached to me the gospel, and then I got saved, believing in Jesus Christ. You said you told me that you were seeing all these idols, and these statues, and all these images, that, and you, you couldn't reconcile that with all the scriptures, where it says, Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image, right? Yeah. And where the Bible says, to flee from idolatry, you said, this for sure can't be the true church, because they clearly disobey God's word, and they're worshiping statues. Exactly. Now, uh, do you want modest to be a Catholic? 
<laughs> so obviously, my question to you: would, Should modest be baptized? No. No. She should only be baptized when she's uh, a believer in Jesus. She needs to believe in Jesus Christ. Amen. Oh, Mr. Binky. Kusin be pena mujisinde, jamu kama wafe Yesu. Modest tuli mula ba mukuruje, wamu naba tu kiribu. So let me baptize you, Modest. Hey, um, yeah. what you again? What are you? <laughs> what are you doing? I'm going to baptize her. Baptize her? Hmm. Wait a minute, Stephen the priest. Mm -hmm. Don't you think someone should understand when they're being baptized? Of course, but... Uh, that they should know what's going on? But now, does she even know what's going on? Has she, she accepted to be baptized? She's young, of course. So she didn't say yes, didn't say no, doesn't even know who you're talking, doesn't even know who you are. Does she even know who you are? She doesn't know. She has no clue. Mm -hmm. And yet you're going to try to baptize her? But someone mm -hmm. should understand baptism when they're going to get baptized, right? You know, in the Bible, mm -hmm. it tells us that people, they, they believe. And then they were baptized. I have my Bible right now mm. that I could. Uh, oh, thank you, Lord. Mm. You know, in the Bible, mm. it tells us over in the book of Acts mm. that uh, when Philip was preaching the gospel to this man, mm. he told him, here's the one thing that stops you from being baptized. Mm. He said, if you believe with all your heart, you may. Mm. And he answered and said, I believe that Jesus Christ is the son of God. So according to the Bible, if you want to be baptized, you have to believe with all your heart. Now, mm. does she believe with all of her heart? Of course not. Yet. So she doesn't even understand anything. Back here, look at what it said in Acts eight twelve. But when they believed Philip preaching the things concerning the kingdom of God and the name of Jesus Christ, they were baptized, both men and women. Oh. See, not babies and infants. It says when they believed, they were baptized. That means that you should believe first, and then you get baptized. So no, we're going to wait until she actually believes for her to get baptized. Mm -hmm. This doesn't make any sense at all for you to baptize a baby who honestly doesn't even have any understanding of what's going on at all. Well, although we're not going to be baptizing our daughter Modest, or sprinkling, or pouring water on her for that matter, we are going to be dedicating her in the church. You see, there's a very big difference between the false, unbiblical practice of baby baptism, and then the biblical practice of baby dedication. The Bible tells us that when Jesus was born, Mary and Joseph took him to Jerusalem and presented him to the Lord. And the act of baby dedication is where the child is publicly brought before the congregation, blessed by the leadership of the church, and the parents make a commitment where they're going to bring their child up in the faith and cause them from a child to know the Holy Scriptures, which are able to make them wise unto salvation through faith which is in Christ Jesus. When I finally got saved four years ago, I actually, up to now, thank God that I got a chance to serve Him in truth and not in a way that I was doing it in the Catholic Church. I was actually wasting my time and actually sinning. But I, I, one thing I want for the child, my daughter, is that she may also serve the Lord. And I'll do my best to teach her the right way, the right path, to be able to accomplish that in the ministry. Jesus loved little children so much that the Bible tells us that he would constantly be blessing them in his public earthly ministry. In Mark chapter 10, the Bible says in verse 16, And he took them up, little children, in his arms, put his hands upon them, and blessed them. And the Bible therefore teaches us that although we should dedicate our children and consecrate ourselves as parents to bring them up in the right way and teach them the right things, we should not be baptizing our children. <laughs> How do you keep getting my daughter? She has to be baptized. Be baptized? Hmm. With what? With this? Yeah, of course. This. Can you tell me what the word baptized means? Baptism. Not really. But it's like a pool in water. No, the word baptized hmm. means to immerse. Remember Jesus when he was baptized by John the Baptist? It says he went up straightway out of the water. The Bible says we are buried with him by baptism. We've been planted together in the likeness of his death. So if you're going to be biblically baptized, you have to be immersed. Obviously, a baby should never be baptized anyway, but this is not enough water. John the Baptist baptized, it says, where there was much water there. And he's not John the Catholic like you. 
John the Baptist. And by the way, what are you wearing? And even this thing on your neck, what is this? This is, this is, this is like a piece of plastic. And what do you do with this thing? Just reciting some prayer on it. Reciting prayer. You know what Jesus said? He said, you should not pray vain repetitions. He said, that's what the heathen do. And here you said, look, there's an idol on this thing, a dead Jesus. And the Bible says, don't make to yourselves any graven images. Bow down to them, worship them, serve them. Jesus said, when you pray, do not use vain repetitions as the heathen do. They think they will be hurt for their much speaking. He says, be not ye therefore like unto them. The Bible says to flee from idolatry. You've got idols all over you. And no, she's not going to be baptized. And my question to you is, why do you keep trying to do something that the Bible clearly tells you we're not supposed to be doing? And shows you that we're supposed to be baptizing believers, not babies. It's by immersion. It's not by sprinkling or by pouring. And after all, even if it was, well, you're not going to baptize this child because she obviously doesn't understand anything you're doing. Oh, hmm. he's right. He's true. Yes, the Bible says that parents are supposed to bring their children up in the nurture and admonition of the Lord. And many people, they have this idea that we're not supposed to tell our children what they're supposed to believe, but that's not biblical. According to the Bible, we're supposed to teach them the true word of God, teach them to put their trust in God, so that way they might fear the Lord all the days of their life. Oh, can I have a modest again? You're not going to try to baptize her, are you? No, I cannot. No, I cannot be baptized. She's a young baby now. Oh, okay. So now mm -hmm. you understand that babies aren't supposed to be baptized. Oh, sure. That's why. Well, let me ask you a question. Mm -hmm. Were you baptized before, Stephen the priest? Yeah, I was baptized when I was a little baby like her. And uh, now, it was a wrong baptism. Yeah, that means you need to be re-baptized. So oh, before yeah. you can be baptized, mm -hmm. what do you have to do? I think to keep the commandment. No. I thought that you, when I was baptized, I was saved. No, baptism doesn't save someone. The way someone gets saved is just by believing in Jesus. Here, oh. let me show you. Hmm.